It's not manifestations at all. Так, what is it then? Hello and welcome. I'm Svetlana, reality control. <laughs> Even though I'm real agent, it's not yet common, apparently. Not in the way I am presenting. So, hello from pioneers. <laughs> and in this video, I want to talk about the energy, which I decided to call infinite energy because it never ends. <laughs> I have another video, I will attach it. <laughs> oh, wait. Our body produces energy, uses certain amount to support itself, such as blood system, uh, nervous system, etc. And uh, the rest is uh, used for surroundings, the way we perceive it, and our insights. Part of it goes to what people call negative thoughts, any kind of drainage, emotions, stress, because on a physical level it all drains, uh, it activates uh, certain parts of our body that begin to use more energy than needed. Therefore, C becomes less. To control reality effectively, to manifest, I guess that's the word some use, uh, to perceive, uh, to create reality, to come up with uh, brilliant ideas if you are on the logical side, <laughs> not metaphysical. For all of that, we need bigger amount of C, free available energy. There are two ways to accomplish that, to have more of that energy. First is a free sun, for that is a clearing consciousness, working with consciousness, that's exactly what Alcarizu is about. To patch consciousness, as I call, which is, you can also reprogram your mind, uh, you know, find uh, the connections that are inefficient for you, that make you unhappy. Find, remove the conflict, redesign, as I call it, Meditations, it's slower route of the same thing, basically. You reduce uh, the emotions, uh, processes in your body that spend energy. How you decided to do it slow or fast, that's up to you. Another way is to get rid of something, which is also good, especially if you need something fast. This is why money, often when you give money away, the more you give away, the, you can feel that. <laughs> you know how everywhere, if you track the movies and uh, stories, everything around the world, your memories, and uh, from this angle that you get rid of something and you get energy, with this thought in mind, if you look back at wherever, you will see that always it's either a lost relationship, uh, lost a job, lost a friend, husband left, burglary, got broke, someone died, burned, <laughs> fled, I'm being extreme, something happened, and uh, you have the freedom. We often don't see that at the, right after it has happened because our body, our mind reacts to it through emotions, right? So we don't really see, but they say time heals because this thing, we find a way to cope with something and then we see the actual, <laughs> you know, benefit. That's why when you need to understand something or have uh, some kind of big change in your life, get rid of wherever you can, uh, old stuff, donate, give away, gift, doesn't matter. Selling it doesn't really work that way most of the time because you just, you had uh, your <laughs> basically frozen energy, there is a term, you had it in this shape and you changed it, now it's in this shape, see? It doesn't mean it's bad, it just means that it's not always uh, beneficial, jewelry, old clothing, you know, like we have ethics, all of this, wherever you're not using a bunch of stocked items, just get rid of it. And uh, you will feel lighter. I mean, for brain, you feel lighter and we normally think something, but in reality, it's just you free the energy and uh, it will go to something else. You will either realize something, huge changes, something will change, new job, new people, I don't know, falling in love, whatever is relevant for your life, something will change, but you get to rid, get rid of this stuff, especially if you're in, um, sick or depressed, that's the thing, just get rid of it, you'll see the change right away, especially if you <laughs> make a mental note for yourself, I want this to go towards that, because the wishes come true, I'll make a separate video. <laughs> so much to me to talk about. Coffee break. 
second way is uh, to generate some and uh, how do you do that <laughs> i originally heard about the joy everyone hears about the joy nowadays and some complain that it's too much <laughs> talk about it i have two years of confirmation that it actually generates energy even common sense that some of us like things that differ from what other people like i'm still researching whether it's inbuilt in us the interests or if they are accumulated through a lifetime i cannot answer that maybe you can but the fact is the fact that each person has specific interests specific things that bring joy to that specific person which going back to the uh, spending energy as i said the c amount of energy the amount that is not used often happens that when we are busy thinking about something finding solutions researching learning uh, all of this spends energy at the same time when we do something joyful we forget about everything we get absorbed by this joyful thing and uh, get inspired <laughs> we stop thinking we stop worrying neuron connections that normally uh, fire and drain if we talk negative emotion i don't like calling them negative i think it's a feature but oh well i actually thought why is it negative energy a little cut off because positive is a plus negative is a minus like mathematics negative right it's the same thing we produce energy but how it goes with positive or with negative sign um, <laughs> so it's the same thing when we do something that brings us joy it cuts off wastage of uh, electric um, signals uh, in our brain and therefore we save uh, some energy which go which increases that c amount of uh, available energy that's how i see it the original word of uh, inspiration inspire is uh, breathe uh, breathe life into which is perfect because creating something is exactly that which see even again common sense logic if, even from linguistic side that we when we get inspired with uh, wherever is uh, bringing us joy specifically if we're creating something crafting uh, dancing whichever we breathe <laughs> life into and uh, why meditations work one of the thing we breathe our breath changes and uh, oxygen has a specific kind of uh, reaction chemical reaction in our body that uh, brings electricity gains energy so meditation mm, i mean it's not only that it it's not exactly meditation itself but the breathing so when you do something that uh, inspires you you are breathing breathing life and two therefore on uh, your cells level you create energy see <laughs> Plus, at the same time, your worries and the old neuron connections that uh, normally would uh, drain energy, all of this stops working and uh, it's pure generation. So your body still produces A amount, uses B, the default uh, always happening uh, spending of uh, energy B to support itself, and then C increases <laughs> because you generate more and spend less if you go uh, algorithm way if you go uh, reality control way it's one of the pluses <laughs> another video to make is that you will be generating energy because it's a must because if you don't have enough you can't use uh, i told it's the same video about uh, energy um yeah <laughs> i'll attach <laughs> You need energy for everything and uh, doing uh, fun, doing joyful things, creating becomes a purpose <laughs> of your life other than, uh, I mean, yeah, because one of the questions that you will be asking yourself also, am I draining or am I gaining? When you look at some situation or decision to, to take, the question becomes not where it will lead me, right? Because you think as a dot on a 5D plane. I'll attach the video. I keep showing there, I don't know why. <laughs> it's there. 
I think <laughs> it becomes not where I want to be in the future. It becomes on the now. Am I draining or gaining energy now? And if I'm draining, back to beginning of this video, I want to either free by understanding what exactly is uh, spending. I want to either free or I want to generate by putting this aside wherever it is and uh, doing what will make me happy now. If you just begin, just begin doing fun things. It's not just uh, another stuff, trending <laughs> thing, books and the videos about it everywhere. It's not just trending, it's necessary because your brain needs energy to comprehend, to find solution. You won't be able to find it if you have known because you spent too much. You need to generate or free. And if you are a creative person, consider yourself a master of uh, energy generator already. If things still don't happen for you, just find what drains you. Reduce that, get rid of stuff. <laughs> which is more temporary as opposed to fixing wherever is draining you in your consciousness because that's permanent it changes and uh, the more you change the less is spent and it's accumulative that's how you get to high vibrational levels if you talk that language <laughs> you don't have to go up and down anymore you continue going up and every time you expand you have new field to clear, which you do more and you expand even more, you know, go higher. That's the trick. It's really simple. <laughs> but begin with joy for the 25th time, <laughs> 27th. So this is how it is. To free energy, either get rid of something or change your mindset through meditations or like patching consciousness if you want faster and generate constantly, constantly. I recommend the question, walk with question, what will make me happy now? Especially if you're depressed, if you are in crisis, what will make me happy now? And then just watch how it happens. <laughs> and joy, joy, feel joy. And you will see. I hope I answered all of the questions I wanted to answer. Mm, good luck with all. Ciao, cacao. <laughs>